LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. Vehicles pitching downrange. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off with the SXM-8 satellite from Space Launch Complex 40. Now the next Our event coming up... Next event coming up here is Max-Q, and that is maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's the largest structural load that the vehicle will see on ascent. So we do power down the engines just slightly in preparation. And then Falcon 9 is supersonic. After Max-Q, we will throttle them back up. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out that we just passed through Max Q. So in about a couple of minutes, we will have three events happening within seconds of each other. That'll be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. Now main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines on that first stage. And that slows the vehicle down in preparation for and stage separation. Started. Stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage. And the first stage will begin to make its way back home to Earth for landing. And stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, SES-1. Now that's where the MVAC engine on the second stage lights up and propels the second stage along with the SXM-8 satellite to orbit. And we're just under about 20 seconds away from those three events. Again, that is MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Miko. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there you could see all three of those events, Miko and state separation. On your left-hand screen is a view of first stage. On your right-hand screen, you could see that MVAC engine on the second stage glowing bright red. You also got a little glimpse of the green uh, T-TEB ignition for SES-1. Now we're coming up on fairing deploy here, just under 10 seconds Vehicles away. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we got a nice live visual of the fairing halves deploying from second stage. As a reminder, this was the first flight for both fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover these new fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel's Go Navigator. Sure.
as second stage head towards its targeted orbit. Stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first of those two burns is called the entry burn, and that's where we light up three of the nine M1D engines. Now this helps to slow re-entering back into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the second and final burn, and that is the landing burn. Now this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to touch down on our drone ship. Again, today we will be attempting to land on just read the instructions. If you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's 40 launch pad. And now you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9's Stage 2 as it delivers the Light 2 orbit. Stage 1 is currently cruising back to our drone ship. Just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. And as a reminder, today's mission is for Sirius XM, carrying our, the SXM-8 satellite to its targeted orbit. Falcon 9 continues to follow a nominal trajectory. And SXM-8 is the 12th satellite to be launched for Sirius XM service. It transmits 73 decibel watts at peak power, which is 20 million watts of power. Now, de deploying the unfurlable reflector is like opening a large umbrella in space and a very large umbrella. It, it's about nine meters or 29 feet, which is taller than the average two story house. Now, with the solar arrays deployed, the length of the satellite is about the same length as a 737 air, airplane. Now, we're coming up on entry burn on the first stage, just under 10 seconds away or so. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And there you heard the call out and on your left hand screen, you could see that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. The seconds or so. And again, it helps to slow the vehicle down as it's entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. And again, there's that call out and you can see on your left hand screen that the entry burn has on your right hand screen. Stage two is still looking nominal. And we're just about a minute away from the landing burn on the first stage. And right before the landing burn will be second engine cutoff one or S or, or Seco one. And that's where we shut down that MVAC engine that you're looking at on your screen there. The reminder, we do have two burns of this MVAC engine for today's mission. And that helps get Second the- Second stage is in terminal guidance. That helps get the SXM-8 satellite to its final orbit. Stage one, transonic. Again, a couple events happening back to back here. Seco one Stage coming up here shortly. Stage two, system has saved. Followed by the landing burn. Stage one, landing burn startup. Sounds like the landing burn has begun on first stage. We could see. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Sounds like we also got a good Normal orbit on the second stage. Insertion. Stage one landing leg deploy. And we have touchdown of Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has stage just one landing confirmed. <laughs> just landed on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Today marks the 87th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, as well as SpaceX's 125th successful mission to date. Welcome back to the live webcast of SpaceX's SXM-8 mission. Have that ignition. 
And there you can visually see on your screen that second stage ending back. And that cut off. And there we have confirmed SECO2, or second engine cutoff 2. If you're just joining us, here's a quick recap of today's milestones. We had a Payload separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen the SXM-8 satellite drifting away from second stage, confirming payload deploy. What an awesome view of the satellite drifting away. SM-8 satellite from Falcon 9 second stage that will bring our webcast coverage to a close. To the Range and Federal Aviation Administration, thank you for supporting today's mission. And of course, to all of our viewers, thank you for supporting our mission by tuning in to today's webcast. We'll see you next time.